Okay, this is a video about some of these Volkswagen wiring connectors. And in my last video, I said never to use a screwdriver. Um, and that's all very well until you get one that's absolutely stuck on there. And most people then pick up the screwdriver in frustration and break the connector. So I'm going to show you how you can use a screwdriver. And what my preferred tool is to undo these connectors, which is this little um, hook shaped pick and the commercially available tool as well. So I've got a, um, some old wiring loom and an old um, TFSI coil pack. And I think these coil packs are probably the most broken connectors on Volkswagens, and they're certainly the most difficult to undo. Uh, just let's have a look at one that, with an unbroken connector here. So I'm just going to uh, connect it up. There's the click, it's connected. And this is the proper way to undo them is that you press the connector in, pull the latch back, and undo it. But as we all know, they will get broken. Now this one's completely broken. This one, however, um, has a broken off latch portion, but the actual little, um, the broken off thumb portion, the actual little latch is still intact. So if we were to make the mistake and connect this, there's no way to undo it to get it off. Now, the way you can do this, my preferred way is you get a pick in here, you come in like this, you go under and you can undo it. And what you're actually doing there is you're putting the tool in and you're pulling this latch up and you can't break it because it won't go far enough up to bend the plastic so much it'll break. It's got this stop already here and it will just come up and it will undo. Now, perhaps if you get a screwdriver, you might be able to get it in there. There is a chance to break it, but just managed to get it in there. And I think that will undo, which it will. So we'll just have a look at this bigger connector here. And connect it up. And there's the click. Connector like this, very easy to undo with the screwdriver. You come in like this, you come in, you twist the screwdriver very slightly, you're not applying much pressure at all, and that is unlatched and it will just undo. Again, I really like this hook tool because you can come in from the front like that and just undo it like that. This uh, connector, it is actually very unlikely you need to use a hook. You can undo a wiring harness on an engine, say. Perhaps you'd only need to use this on one or two of, say, 20 or 30 connectors. Most connectors do undo. So I say, the problem people have is when they're under tension like this, you try and unlatch it, and because it's under tension, it's holding that latch down. So you see, if I pull up, it requires a lot of force and actually hurts my hand before it unclips like that. If you have a connection in tension like that, that's hard to undo, push it together, pull the latch forward and it will then undo. But uh, let's have a look at the last tool, which is this commercially available tool. I think Schwaben do them. I did used to think that perhaps this was the ultimate solution. I don't really think it is, but uh, the way it works is that this is a limit stop, so you can't go in and break the connector. So you, you place the tool in and you pull back, and it can only pull back so far because it hits that, that stop, and then it gives you some leverage to undo it. So these are commercially available, the Chinese have now cop copied them, and several tool makers make them. And they are an option. I find they're generally quite big and bulky and can't get in there very well. And as I say, generally I find you push them together and you pull, they just undo. But if you've got a broken one where someone else has already been there, the best tool, in my opinion, is a hook. But a screwdriver can be used. What you must never do is go in and put a screwdriver in here because this will happen. And you'll just snap it off. And once you've done that, and it's tight to get in here, then it's a bit of a flawed design because it's actually very hard to undo. But uh, I hope that covers all the bases 
these D-shaped connectors are not only found on Volkswagen, they're actually found on Fords and all sorts of other cars. They're quite common on wiper motors on, on cars uh, from all manufacturers. So that covers pretty much every situation where you might have a stuck connector. And it shows you why you shouldn't use a screwdriver to try and undo them by leaving that because actually you'll find that the screwdriver will just apply too much force and break the connector.